Uh, folks, I was trying to show you how Google, well, you can say to Google uh, Nest, you can say, tell me a story about Goldilocks and the three bears. And immediately she comes on, uh, brings in a source that will tell the story of Goldilocks and three bears. It's terrific. And it seems to be an unlimited number of stories she can tell. I tried to do that and demonstrate it to you on camera. But Phil says that it, Google shuts off the camera. So I don't have the benefit of having a video in a video world. The other thing I wanted Google to do, and I'd like to demonstrate it to you, but Phil says it turns off the camera, uh, is I would like to say to her, tell me about elephants. And then she will go to Wikipedia and she will read me the whole article about elephants. But she doesn't do that. Trees four or five lines, and then you stop. And then you ask for more, and you don't get it. What should I do? Just hold the whole thing out, I guess. I don't want any more new electronics coming into Happy House 3, because that upsets the whole Happy House. And it takes time away from you caring and sharing and sending out checks. By the way, we drained the bank account last, <laughs> last month in October. We got it down to zero. And we got the trust down to zero. So we're starting out this month of November with new money. And we're not going to, we can't give money away the way we did last month. I want to tell you about Mary Martin. She put an ad in the newspaper saying that she would had a week and a half to find a new room. I had a room for rent, so I called her up and told her about it. It turns out that Mary Martin, who lives in Pittsfield, uh, the room is not suitable for her. The thing behind it is that she has a cat, a seven-year-old cat. Madeline and I want to make sure that that 70-year-old cat is taken care of. We want to make sure that Mary gets a nice apartment where she can keep the cat. Uh, when I heard the days were counting down very fast when she would be homeless, so I sent to the general delivery in Pittsfield Post Office taking care of the postmaster. I sent five money orders, $10 each. They were Walmart money orders. It's as good as cash, because anybody can cash them. Well, now I'm having a problem with the postmaster giving Mary Martin the $50 cash. I don't know what to do about that. And Wayne is helping me. But today, Wayne is at the polls. This is November 8th. Wayne is at the polls all day. He started out at 6.30 this morning. He'll be there until 11.30 tonight. He's the clerk, I think. That's right, he's not the warden, he's the clerk. So that's another story to tell you. Have I told you what my Thanksgiving dinner is going to be? It's going to be the week before everybody else's Thanksgiving, which is the 24th, it's going to be the 17th. And it's going to be a vegan roast, a vegan gravy, uh, mashed potato with vegan butter, uh, dressing with stuffing and sage and all those good things, an old-fashioned New England dressing, Qua squash, the lovely orange, the great, great big one, the one that's this big, uh, cut up into cubes, and green peas, turnip. The turnip is sitting right over there behind you. Cut up the turnip and boil it. And ocean spray, whole berry, cranberry sauce. And vegan pumpkin pie. We're getting the vegan pumpkin pie specially ordered from uh, Honest Way. Okay, you're welcome to come.
Call me. So can you think of anything else that transpired? Uh, you talked to uh, Robert Bengraff today. Oh, yeah. Producer. And he gets a lot of money, like over $100 to do videos. And he saw our employment ad in the advertiser, our home news newspaper. And he very quickly told us that he was out, that he was out of our range. But he got interested in us, the fact that we do video. And that's what he does. Okay, so that... And have been doing be it for continued. so long. What, dear? And that you've been doing it for so long. Yeah. He said he was impressed by your track record. I want to go over the thing with the trust again. Phil is very, very kind to pay for things out of his credit card. Uh, and we thought that... I thought that his credit card was maybe being overtaxed. So we wanted to make sure that he didn't go short on his credit card. So I gave him a $400 check out of my pocket. Okay? $400 check. I gave it to Phil. He put it in his credit card. He ordered an instrument called uh, Voice. What is it? Voice EO or something? Vocally 3. That was supposed to dial 60 numbers on my landline. Well, it turned out that it didn't work. So Phil returned the voiceo or whatever it was to Amazon, right, Phil? Yes. And then Amazon gave him a check for three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Let's call it four hundred. Phil has a check right here. The trust says the check should go to them. Do you agree with the trust, Phil? Oh, no, that check, that check was uh, from the trust. The trust sent that check to us to reimburse. Yes but, or no? I, no. Um, that Amazon check, did, Amazon didn't send me a check. They just put it back in the account. So that money has to go to you. The Amazon money goes to you, and the trust money goes back to the trust. All right. Yeah. So what do we do? It's only money. Jokes! Mm hmm Adam talking to God. Oh, okay. And he, he says, God, I need a helper. He says, I can't dissemble this uh, tent every day and move it and set it up every day. I need somebody to help me and to get to meals. Hey, Google, thank you.